This is the fifth video in step-by-step -step setup of Oracle 19C2 node rack. I intended to cover the database creation on second node in the same video, but because of my recording software, I had to stop that particular video and start it again. So this is the fifth video. Uh, till now, what we have done is we have created our first node. We created a database on first node. We added the second node into the clusters but we have not at added the database on second node so as part of this particular video we will be extending our database home on the second node and then we'll be creating our database so i can just show you that i have got my p pmon process the asm and oracle here and if i run the same over here i don't have the database process and if i connect uh, to the database as the if I connect to the database on the first node as sysdba and run select name comma open mode from gv dollar database you can see the database is only on one node and if I show you the output of my CRS CTL you can see that I got two nodes in my cluster NST grab db so you can see i got one called db1 and another called db2 so i got two nodes but if you see my database my database is the orcl db that is only online on one node it is not present on the second node so what i need to do is i need to add and also i can show you that this is the directory here and let me clear here and this is the directory on node 2 and if you see on the node 1 I got these binaries but on node 2 that particular directory is empty so the grid is there on the node 2 but database software is not there neither the database is there so what we need to do is we need to go to add node here in the database directory now not in the grid and you can see a script called add node.sh so we'll just run that particular script and it will launch a GUI and you see it has already detected db2 and it has check mark so which means that we need to add this and i'm going to just click next 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 and it's going to do all the checks for us and finally when it's all done it's going to transfer the software from node 1 to node 2 automatically so we i don't have to install the software the database or grid software on node 2 the grid installer is going to transfer the software so the database or installer is going to transfer the software from node 1 to node 2 and i'll pause this video and come back when we reach so when this is done only the database software is added the database is still not been created on node 2 and how do we do that so we use the dbca so i'll wait uh, till the time the the software is installation is not completed on node 2 and once the software installation is completed i'll come to the dbca part and i'll show you i'll continue the video from there till then i'll pause the video okay so it has installed the database software on node 2 and it is asking us to run this script as root sh on node 2 so let me log in on node 2 as root and just run the script and that's done and we are going to click ok and that's done so now if i if i show you the database software is still there on node 2 but we still don't have our database so what we need to do and this is the last part that we need to do so let's go to the database directory so that's my database directory database home so let me go to the bin here and under this you'll find a utility called dbca so let's launch the dbca this is the same utility that we used to create the database so we'll launch the dbca once again and this time around we will choose a different option called manage instance and you'll come to know so let's let's wait for that screen to come or that gui to appear so uh create database configure an existing database so what we will we'll do is we'll say oracle rack database instance management so we'll choose the last option the sixth option so we are going to choose this option and add an instance so yeah we need to add an instance so we'll click on add an instance and which instance 
this is the instance admin manage so we this is the database and this is the local instance and we need to add the another instance called orcl2 so we'll give this is user and this is password over here click next and i can show you right now that i got only one pmon process on this screen which is related to asm while on this node i got the ps minus ef grep pmon the data is orcl1 and asm while here only asm so that's that looks good that looks good that looks good so let's click on next and this is the summary we are adding the node to dv2 with instance name orcl2 and it's going to do all of this the thread undo the it's going to create the redo logs the thread and all that stuff and just click on finish and let's see if it is it is going to take some time so it's going to prepare for db operation adding instance and then completing instance management so it's going to take some time but not a long time but it's going to take some time so let me pause the video and come back and we have reached to a stage where it has created the new instance called orcl2 on our and that's done instance orcl2 added successfully on node db2 so that's done let me close this video now and what i'll do i will connect to my oracle database on node 1 and run select sorry let me describe the gv dollar instance and instance name select instance name comma status from gv dollar instance and i can see i got now two instances oracle 1 and oracle 2 and if i run this name slash open mode from gv dollar database i can see that i got two entries and i can also run the crsctl command so if i run the crsctl command and if i go to the oracle database let me maximize this and run this and if you see the database is now on online on node 1 and node 2 so we have successfully added the database on the second node so let me just repeat what we have done as part of this tutorial the five step tutorial i as usual i am on oracle enterprise linux 7.8 with oracle database 19c with oracle virtual box 6.0 we first build two virtual machines we allocated a 10 gb ram then we created a shared storage 12 gb for asm data and 4 gb for ocr we created the asm disk using oracle asm create disk command we set up the public ip and private ip we set up the etc host this did not work for me and i ignored it production please do not ignore it and you i installed the required packages using yum install set up the ssh between oracle user created the necessary directories unzip the software only on node 1 unzip the database software only on node 1 installed the okay this is the cvu disk and the name is gone and then optionally done cluster verification and verify the prequisite prerequisites in the second tutorial i use the grid setup to create install the cluster software or the grid software on the first node then in the third video i ran the run installer to install the database software and create using the run dbca using the dbca command create the database in the fourth video i added the node using add node.sh and in the fifth video i added the node uh, sorry uh the no okay yeah the added the node on the second node so added the database software on the second node and then ran the dbca ran the dbca to create the database on second node with this this is it is the end of this 
step by step setup of Oracle 19C two node rack. I hope you will find this tutorial useful and this series of videos and after watching these videos you will be able to come up with your cluster two node cluster and you will also understand if you have ever any requirement to add a new node to cluster how to do that and once the node is added if you want to add the database home and then add the database on the second node how to do that this was covered in this particular tutorial and as again you will find it useful thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial bye bye